Hello everybody watching. This is Nick, the Georgia Hiker. And we went back to Yellow River Park in Gwinnett County, Georgia. It's one of my favorites. There's another video I recorded from Yellow River about seven years ago. This park uh, is close to Metro Atlanta on the east side near Stone Mountain. Uh, but on the opposite side of the playground, there's a lot of trails and hardly anybody on them. So the side I walk on has maybe 100 acres. And I've gotten, um, I'll say, turned around in this park. You can't really get lost because you start going towards the road and you can find your way out. But it is the most confusing with about 40 intersections. Take a look at this map. The bottom map is what you'll see when you start your hike. Looks a little confusing in itself. The top map is the heat map of really all the trails. So a lot of bikers and possibly hikers have created their own trails, making it more confusing. So again, I've gotten a little turned around, but I really like the hike. It's pleasant and hardly anybody's on it. So let's get specific about this hike. This hike takes place at the equestrian parking lot. On this day, there was just a couple of horses, a police officer in his car and us. All the trails are multi-use. Uh, it was a beautiful day, 65 degrees and partly cloudy. We decided to take the outer loop. Again, we got a little turned around. You'll see in this video. Uh, but I really think this trail needs some more signs and some general trail maintenance. Uh, but anyway, enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Thanks a lot. It's a great smell of honeysuckle down in here. Mm. Very fragrant flower. It's a beautiful day today. It's probably 65 degrees and sunny. Everybody's on the other side of the park. The park is in Gwinnett County, Georgia. I have another film of this park on my website from seven, eight years ago. So this is the entrance trail from the equestrian parking lot comes out and goes back in. I predict we'll encounter some bikers as well. It's multi-use trail, so you just have to watch out for other people. So you can see it comes out here. It's got three and a half miles of trail. I'm not going to do all three and a half today. It goes back in right over there. See you in a minute. So there's a lot of intersections of trails here and we're going to stick to the left and skirt the outside of the park. We just passed a lady who literally ran into the woods to avoid us. So I guess I understand. Taking a sharp left. I think we're only going to do about a mile or two today. I don't think we'll get the whole three and a half. That's including all the trails. The shadows and light and temperature are great. It's good to get outside. So we're taking the higher elevation part of the trail, goes up a little over there and slopes way down that way. The trail actually, the park actually borders a neighborhood not too far from here to start to see some open areas. A lot of bike marks, a lot of jumps. And yeah, no. we're not going this way, but back down in there, uh, I think connects to a neighborhood. Yeah. And there's a little pond down in there. Yeah, I agree. So just keep that way. I want to see something. Though. 
has a little lake or a pond down in there. Cool. The trail's still climbing, but you can start to see decks, which that would be a nice back deck to have. I don't know if you can see it through there. To, to sit out and have a park right next to you. Which I know someone personally that does. The neighborhood starts coming in on the left. It's the smell of burning leaves up in here. So some people have created their own trails. That's a pretty tree right there. And this trail goes down to the pedestrian bridge. Trail zigzags in and out. So we came down there went, and we're going back up whoops, here and then we'll turn to the right. So you get a lot of this. I advise taking a picture of the map before you leave. Another turn. This is a T. We should be able to figure this one out. And yes, another one. This is a very confusing trail. Yeah, there's a bunch of trees up there. This is kind of a, uh, a ridge line here. It looks like they might have had a house or something here, but I don't see any remnants or chimneys or anything. There are more intersections on this trail. Some tell you that there's an intersection. Some just don't tell you. The question trail is back down that way. They'll take us back. Or that one. Either that one. one. Okay. Or that one. Or that one. Okay. Or that one. Like five forks. Looks like someone made a little bike ramp there. Okay. We'll probably walk a total of a mile, mile and a half. But it is confusing. Another turn. Eh. Who's ever guessed it's good. So there's the road. And you're crossing the bridge by the road. If you get turned around on this trail, start heading downhill until you hear the cars. Crazy. Taking the outer limits brings you back close to the road. The trail kind of parallels the road. We finally passed a couple of people. But basically, on this beautiful day, it's only been us back here.